personal layouts. Alrighty, let's learn how to read a histogram. So going back to our same one that we created, how many runners are between 10 and 19 years old? Well, between, between 10 and 19, we see that there are three runners. How many runners are less than 30 years old? So I don't want 30 to 39. I don't want 40 to 49 or 50 to 59. I want 20 to 29 and I want 10 to 19. All of that is less than 30. So if I did 4 plus 3, we'd get that there are 7 runners. So we're adding these two together. It works the other way too. How many runners are at least 30 years old? So they could be exactly 30, they could be more than 30. So I take 6 plus 3 plus 4 and get that there are 13 runners. So that's how I read a histogram. Now let's look at some of these analyzing key features. Now these are the same as when you looked at dot plots. I could have data that's skewed to the left or left skewed. That's where most of my data is on the right side and our tail is on the left. We have data that is right skewed, where most of my data is on the left and my tail is on to the right. Then we have our bell-shaped or symmetric, meaning if I put a line right through the middle, it's almost the same on both sides. Over here, we have a uniform, which is almost exactly the same, right? So we call that a uniform distribution. Over here, a bell-shaped distribution or symmetric. Now, if I look at a histogram, I can use some of the key terms that we've already learned such as the peak. I know the peak is the highest point on my histogram. There are gaps in this histogram, right? There's a big kind of space between two of the intervals. And we have one interval that just kind of sticks out from the rest. And just like we called in the past, that is our outline. So I can use all of these same terms with histograms as well. All right, let's look at the last uh, portion on analyzing a histogram and we're going to look at the percents. So this is an example of National Honor Society members volunteer hours. So between 10 and 19 hours I had three members. Between 20 and 29 members I had two members. Between 30 and 39 members I had four members so on and so on. So we see all of those numbers. So the question is what is the total number of members? Well, if this is all of the members, right, the frequency, if I had three plus two plus four plus one, there are 10 members altogether. What is the percent of members volunteered between 30 and 39 hours? Well, I know between 30 and 39 hours is four members altogether. So that's four members out of the total of 10. Now remember, now we're gonna look at this kind of like a proportion. So if it's four members out of a total of 10, I wanna find out a percent. Now remember, percent means out of 100. So it's 4 out of 10, how much is that out of 100? So you think what times 10 gets me to 100? Well, times 10. If I do 4 times 10, that's 40 out of 100, or 40%. So the percent of members that volunteer between 30 and 39 hours is 40%. What is the percent of members that volunteered less than 30 hours? So I have 3 members plus 2 members, so a total of 5 members volunteered less than 30 hours. So 5 out of the 10 members altogether. Now, same thing if I create a proportion, that's 5 out of 10 members, then we think, well, how much is that out of 100? So we solve the proportion, what times 10 gets me 100? I times 10. Same thing, do 5 times 10, and we get that it's 50% of the members volunteered less than 30 hours. 